If you want to practice improvisation, Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro has a great feature for you. Target Notes With this tool, you can ask the app to show you target notes based on the chord scales embedded in each chord, from chord tones to tensions, to guide tone lines, and more. This will help you practice over chord progressions by thinking of target notes for each chord. You can turn on this feature with this button here. If you choose single, then you can target specific target notes. It is important to understand that depending on the chord types and chord scales used, some target notes are available while others are avoid notes. Choose R to target the roots of the chords. The roots are always available, so the score will show all the roots for every chord. And yes, this is a really simple target note, but playing and listening to the bass in a progression is a great ear training exercise. Now, if you choose to target the third of the chord, you have to make sure to replace it with the fourth chords on sus4 chords. That's why the option says three or four, in parentheses. This is really important because your targets should take the chord types into consideration. Look at this D7 sus4 to D7 in All My Tomorrows. The app is showing the third of every chord, but on the D7 sus4, you want to play the fourth, G instead. So, Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro will show you the correct replacements for your targets when needed. You can choose the fifth of the chord, or the seventh or sixth for sixth chords. The ninth is also a tension that is not always available, like in Phrygian chords, so in that case the app will replace it for the root. And the same applies to the eleventh and the thirteenth. But you don't have to worry because Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro will always replace these tensions when needed, based on the chord-chord scale pairing used on each chord in the progression. If you choose combined, then you'll see chord tones, tensions, and scale tones. In this option, the app will create angular lines using the target notes of your choice. If you select chord tones, then the target notes will all be chord tones. One, three, five, or seven chosen at random. And the replacements that we've talked about before will also be considered. Choose tensions if you want angular lines made out of just tensions, nine, 11, and 13. And if you choose scale tones, it will use any note from the chord scale. So, a random combination of available chord tones and tensions. If you want lines that follow voice leading principles, then choose the Lines option. And now, you'll have the options to practice guide tone lines, chord tone lines, or tension lines. In this lines, Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro will try to avoid big leaps and try to use voice leading to create them. I would say that guide tone lines is one of the most important target notes exercises to practice, since they trace the harmonic progression like no other line. You also have the option to use stemless notes. When you choose this option, the app shows stemless target notes and slashes. This is a great option to use when you want to feel free to add passing tones or approach tones to your targets, since you can see the beats you have available to fill in between targets while playing. It will give you a different perspective when you follow the score. If you want the notes to be notated in bass clef, enable this button here. The target notes are mostly written inside the staff with no ledger lines. This is to accommodate different instruments. So if you're practicing, for example, combined angular lines using tension, you can tell the app you want to favor notes in the high range of the staff with this button. If you turn it off, you'll see the lines using more of the lower range. When you play the accompaniment, the app will also play the target notes. You can choose which instrument sound you want used for the target notes and change the volume in the mix. Some of the options has several solutions. You can ask Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro to give you a new variation of the current target notes parameters with this button here. 